just imagine you guna PC tanpa ada PC tanpa ada laptop dekat depan you tapi you boleh guna laptop the best part is you boleh guna kat mana-mana je you nak pakai interesting tengok video ni sampai habis Assalamualaikum and hi guys So baru-baru ni Microsoft dia umumkan Dia baru launch satu servis baru yang dipanggil sebagai Windows 365 Basically Windows 365 ni merupakan satu cloud service Yang ditawarkan oleh Microsoft Untuk membolehkan kita Access PC dari mana saja kita berada From any device Android iPhone, iPad, your old computer as long as you have internet connectivity I tak sure the exact requirement untuk you access Windows 365 ni in terms of network bandwidth apa semua tapi as a guideline as long as you can stream movie then you are good enough to access cloud PC Windows 365 apa kelebihan Windows 365 ni? kenapa saya tak beli PC biasa je? Contohnya, kalau kita beli PC biasa, ada laptop biasa ni Untuk kita upgrade the PC, contohnya nak upgrade CPU ke, upgrade RAM ke Kita tak boleh upgrade just like that Sebab kita kena pergi kedai, itu satu Kena hantar kedai untuk minta upgrade RAM ke, minta upgrade CPU ke, upgrade storage ke Katakan you nak pakai hari ni, you tak semestinya dapat upgrade terus there and then Dia akan ambil masa lagi lama untuk you upgrade the PC Sebelum you dapat gunakan uh, PC tu pada spec yang you nak Berbanding dengan Windows 365 ni The next month saya nak buat video editing for example Then I need to increase the speed of my computer of my cloud PC tu then I can always tell my admin uh, hey Mr. Admin I need to upgrade my machine untuk guna buat video editing so the admin nanti dia akan tengok your requirement and then upgrade uh, your cloud PC tu according to your requirements klik 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 dekat portal tu klik klik you dah dapat lah lagi satu kan kalau kita pakai Windows 365 ni apa yang saya nampak antara kelebihan dia you are going to have a very fast internet connectivity daripada cloud PC tu maksudnya from your machine untuk access the PC tu you akan guna your home bandwidth katakan in my case saya pakai uh, 30 megabit per second my bandwidth to access my cloud PC tu is sufficient lah dengan 30 meg cuma kalau saya nak download a big file contohnya macam 200 gig 300 gig then it will take a lot of time memenangkan cloud PC ni it's hosted in data center it will definitely uh, have a very fast connectivity to internet from cloud PC to itself I'm going to utilize the internet connectivity dekat the data center so cool juga kan another thing is satu benda yang kita tak perlu concern atau risau atau fikir bila kita pakai cloud PC ni the Windows 365 ni is on the security updates patches etc but you don't have to worry about that because it is already taken care by Microsoft so from security perspective Let's say I guna iPad lah untuk access my cloud PC ni And then my I, I lost my iPad So I don't have to worry about the files dekat my cloud PC Sebab it's stored in the cloud So it's, it's not stored on my local device So I just need to have another device Then I can always access my cloud PC Macam tu je Tau. So all my files, all my applications semua intact Tak ada masalah Wah, wow, bestnya kalau macam tu. Oh, saya nak, saya nak, saya nak. Eh, wait, wait, wait. Tunggu dulu, tunggu dulu. Setiap yang baik ada buruknya. Setiap kelebihan ada kelemahan dia. So, antara the disadvantages yang saya boleh cakap dekat sini untuk Windows 365 ni, uh, satu, it's a subscription based. Meaning you have to pay on monthly basis in order for you to access the cloud PC punya service Compared to kalau you beli PC, you just pay RM3,000 one time So you have the PC with you and you can keep it sampai bila-bila And I think anggaran monthly subscription fee yang you kena bayar for cloud PC ni for Windows 365 uh, I think starting from RM130 per month up to RM280 per month kot it depends on the spec or the plan yang you pilih 
sebab it comes bundled together with license for Windows OS, uh, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Teams and kalau you guna the full plan tu, you akan dapat lagi banyak benda lah macam Power BI, Power Automate, Power Apps for you to do some coding or automation. The moment they only offer this for business and also enterprise. Sekarang ni kan kita banyak uh, work from home punya arrangement. So it's going to be a good thing for for the IT support. They just redeploy the machine to you tu je. Dia tak payah susah-susah nak ambil masa nak troubleshoot apa problem apa semua tak payah. You just redeploy, you will get all the apps yang you install based on your profile, based on the backup yang dah buat. Dah. In terms of file tak ada issue sebab file sudah backup dekat cloud. Kan? Uh, another disadvantage yang sekarang ni sebab dia still baru kan so saya tak tahu macam mana uh, user experience bila kita pakai kita katakan kita access the cloud PC tu guna tablet and kita nak guna touch screen or stylus apa semua so I don't know what what is the user experience when we are using touch screen atau uh, stylus uh, untuk cloud PC tu sebab cloud PC tu is something that is stream to our device not something that is physically in front of, of us tapi the biggest downside is that kalau you tak ada internet you tak boleh access langsung that is the biggest downside of having cloud PC lagi satu is Microsoft 365 so apa beza Microsoft 365 dengan Windows 365 so Windows 365 ni yang macam saya cakap tadi is a cloud PC so dia package ada Windows OS, ada productivity tools tapi Microsoft 365 ni is a productivity suite ha, so you when you subscribe, you can dapat macam Word, Excel, PowerPoint so it depends on the plan yang you subscribe lah so in terms of how to access Windows 365 ni dia ada dua cara satu, melalui browser you go to windows365.microsoft.com so kalau you dah ada plan tu apa semua, you akan nampak lah uh, the options untuk access the cloud PC tu. Another option is to install remote desktop application on your device. Dia ada untuk Android, dia ada untuk iOS, dia ada untuk PC of course. Uh, untuk Mac pun ada kalau tak silap. What's my thought about Windows 365 ni? So apa yang saya nampak, penggunaan Windows 365 ni, dia akan banyak menguntungkan syarikat especially dalam pandemik punya situation sekarang ni where kita ada work from home arrangement because dia dapat reducekan cost kepada company untuk provide support kepada staff dekat rumah in terms of deployment company boleh deploy the cloud PC lebih cepat what do you think about Windows 365 ni? put it in, in the comment below let me know I think that's about it for this vlog uh, thank you for watching and till then bye